Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. truck just put air in the tire right there so we're still having this issue we are in uh, Laramie Laramie Wyoming I think so I think that's where I'm at. I'm at I don't even know it's been a crazy day but basically I took this to a Firestone yesterday and they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't do anything with it they were like we can't touch that specialized vehicle it's a performance vehicle we can't do anything they actually put air in there, but they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't take a look at the tire. So I'm headed to a dealership in Utah, an Audi dealership. Hopefully they'll be able to deal with it. We're all about to get on the road, see the guys behind me. They're all ready to get on the road now. Um, we got like about five hours before we get up there. So the adventure continues. We're going to Novak Conversions. Yeah. There's Sean. Look, there you go. Sean with his. It's not a SIG, it's a wig. Yeah, it's the WLS. WLS man. Oh. His life. I don't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> I see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just spell it out for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I thought it was wig, oh, white international simple. gangster. It is. Yeah. I knew we were in this. We need that. Why did you think about that? Okay. Just make sure you cut me in for some of the profits. That's all I need. No? I mean, sorry, I was trying to tell the camera no, <laughs> uh -huh. and you yes, but I got, uh -huh. confused. Yeah. <laughs> I got so confused. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, yeah. Are you yeah. ready? All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do this. Nice. You're rock and roll. You didn't even say hello oh. to the newest member. Oh. Um, Where's yeah. your bureau propaganda? Do you want propaganda? me to get someone to help you with that? What's wrong? Step on my foot and it doesn't really hurt that much. She's off. I'm just teasing. Just locking me down. It's that's how, uh, Tickles. That's, that's how they claim people Tickles. Yeah. Hey, Tickles. Oh, see, you know your name. Look at you. Wow, wow, look at that view, oh man, that is amazing, never seen anything like that in my life, that is amazing, I don't even know, it's a wall of, a mountain of trees, a mountain of trees I guess is what you call it, but that, that was really awesome, the, uh, the views here in Logan, Utah, are ridiculously awesome and uh, I find myself wondering why I've never been to, to Utah before and uh, I've got to make more plans to Utah. It's too gorgeous, too awesome not to visit. hiding right there. She's trying to put a magnet on the R8. It's a skit. She knows it's not magnetic, right? Yeah. yeah. First of all, I'm losing my patience. I'm just trying to do a little, <laughs> little funny video. She's going all diva. 
She just went full diva mode. <laughs> All right, are we ready to do this? Yeah. Because it's hot, okay? Ready? It's not hot. It's not, it feels pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So here we are, Novak Jeep conversions. Here's the sign right here in case you can't see it. I'll go up there and get a closer, a closer uh, look at that sign. But uh, there's a bunch of Jeeps here, obviously. There you go. There's a bunch of people and some Jeeps and some people and uh, some more Jeeps. We're going to talk to Tim in a second. He'll show us around, show us some of the projects that they have going on here. Um, here's the tent. This DJ, uh oh, <laughs> we got a DJ. Remember when you ran away and I got on my uh -oh. knees and begged you not oh to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow, yeah. and then so, the days got worse. I don't know about the DJ yet. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But look, there's, there's the Novak. There's the Novak with the DJ. <laughs> Yeah. So here goes one of their conversions right here. Check this out. Let's look. Let's look at the Jeeps. You guys don't need to see me. Yeah. Nothing, nothing but Jeeps right there. Here's my 4x4 right there. My Jeep. The tire is doing okay. Still haven't, still have not changed that tire. Hopefully tomorrow in Vegas we get the whole saga concluded. There's Patrick's uh, Tacoma. I don't think he's got that fixed yet either. Hopefully tomorrow we get that uh, sorted out. Also, I'd, I'd so and then obviously some more, yeah, some more jeeps, yeah. and more jeeps right here. All right, when I get a chance, I will uh, get Tim. I think he took a call. We'll get him to give us a little tour of what's going on here. We live pretty close by. Are you sure? Yeah. So this is this is Tim's baby behind us, right? That's it's a, your. Uh, it's a newborn baby. Yeah, your latest project. So you know what? Just spin us through. This is Tim from uh, Novak Conversions. So just spin us through. You've got a couple of Jeeps here that you guys are working on, and some stuff I think is coming in that you've done stuff with, right? We do. In fact, um, th this is my own personal project. Just picked it up. This is its first day licensed on the road. Nice. Um, it's it's going to be a whole Novak LS swap. 450 horsepower type conversion. Okay. So that one's forthcoming um, over so, here. Under, so it, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> but if you don't mind telling us for the people who don't know, not me, but for other people, like what are we looking at exactly and just, you know, yeah. exactly what you're planning on doing with it? So this is a 67 Commando. They only made them 67 through 71 with this particular body style. Um, and I've been threatened because patina is such a cool thing these it days. Is. I, I love that. Right? So I'm just going to wet sand it and clear yeah. coat it and run it as is. We'll fix yeah, the rust, of course. But. I totally agree with that. It's, that. That's beautiful, man. It's just weathered. <laughs> yeah. That has personality. Great. So its original color on this was, a, was green, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And you can see the areas where the sun hasn't hit it, that it's actually a pretty cool color, pretty cool shade. Right. And then what year was it again? 67. 67 yeah. Commando. Commando. And the, the motor, I just found out yesterday as I got it all running, that uh, the engine is not the original 225, but it's actually a, a fully rebuilt and modernized uh, 79 231 or 3.8 liter Buick. Okay, so, all right. So that's already... That accounts for why it runs so good. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So that's an upcoming project. Yeah. Which one do you want to go to next? Uh, let's do Jeff's here. Okay. Jeff is our sales manager. Okay. He's him standing in front of it. Um, GMC, I see. GMC. Yeah, there you GMC. Go. He's a master of words. Yeah. 
So what are we looking at? Jeff just did this one last year, his YJ, and uh, he's done a, a throttle body 350 in it, 700R4 transmission, 4L60. Early. The early 4L60E. Okay. And a 231 transfer case, of course, slip yoke eliminator, right? Slip yoke eliminator, heavy duty, it's got the white chain. Yeah, it's all. Runs good. We've had this out on the highway and it's just smooth and strong. Yeah, I see you've got Franken style. <laughs> Very cool. This He's a master GMC of GMC Frankenstein. Right, the next right. one's going to be GMC, but it'll be. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Don't reveal it yet. It's a secret project. Right now. Yeah, this is a fun one for him. He's got a, what, two and a half inch lift, 32 inch tires, and it's just a great daily driver. It's smooth and smooth on the highway. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, so are we going this way or do you want yeah, to? Yeah, let's make the loop. Take the little ones, okay. This next one is Ken. Ken, you left there. This is his. That's Ken's baby. Low mile. What year is this again, Ken? 86. 86. Yeah, last year. Last year, last year they made it. Last year was easy or seven. Oh, okay. Hey, Justin. <laughs> and it died. And obviously, <laughs> and lots of stuff has been done, but what? Yeah. What we well, I think your most recent upgrade on this, Ken, wasn't it a quadrajet carburetor? Yeah, a different carburetor. In a, in a reworked distributor. Yeah. And it's a GM HEI. It is. And he said that was far. It w runs far better than it ever did with an injection system we used to have from an unnamed company on it, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. It's just a real low mile clean one. That. How many years have you had this, Ken? Ooh. A lot of years. Well, twelve. Okay. What do you use it for? <laughs> well, around here, uh, I do a lot of grouse hunting up in the mountains. Okay. And, Cool. And camping now and then, yeah. you know. Uh, and just for looking badass, too. I mean, that, well, you know, that's I'm beyond that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's clean, it's fun, it's reliable, it's classic. Yeah. And it's Very fully nice. outfitted, too, for all his gear. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And then I see we've got, like, uh, a Rubicon. And yeah, you notice his hood is down. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Why is that? Because it's, it's a bone stock motor. It's Paul's. Paul's oh. not here to defend himself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's a bone stock motor. It's a future okay. he LS has, so he hasn't, Canada. Yeah, he hasn't done that yet. It'll come. But this, yeah, yeah this guy, you is can tell. What, is that what people do first? Do people do that first, or they just, like, throw all the bells and whistles on? I've then? seen it both ways. You know, a lot yeah. of guys that, that we'll do stuff for will say, um, you know, as long as I'm putting this much power on it, I probably need to change the axles, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Some guys have already done that mm -hmm. um, and had it built up. Like like Paul here, he uses this aggressively off-road yeah. all the time, um, and that motor just doesn't cut it anymore. So he's built the undercarriage up and suspension of the drivetrain, and now he's going to start doing the LS yeah. swap in the near future. So, so, like, if you were giving people out there advice, say someone who never had a Jeep or they never did all this work, how do you suggest for them to start? Get something used, do this, do that, or buy something new, do this or that? What I do you think, think the biggest factor is probably their financial situation. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these guys are just normal Joes like the rest of us, and mm -hmm. they're just trying to you know, get out in the, the, the hills and go wheeling. And, and yeah. for the, the majority of them, it's probably cheaper to start with a used rig, mm -hmm. um, upgrade the axles and things like that. and make If, if it's not something you can afford to do all at once, okay. uh, start with the undercarriage, make that strong because the factory axles typically won't hold up to a real strong engine. Okay, cool. So start with that first. Too. All right, and then if you're looking for a used rig, just some quick pointers on what to look for out there. Um, if you're, it depends on what body style you like. You know, there's the... The, the older ones are classics. Everybody loves a classic. Uh, not everybody knows how to work on them. Um, if you like these JKs, which they've revolutionized the industry, they just, right out of the box, they're an amazing four-wheeler. Um, the 07 to 11s have all the same characteristics, and the 12, 2012 and up uh, are, are the same as well. Um, the 2012 and ups have a, a better interior. In fact, they started doing that in the 11. Um, more creature features, so to speak, and upgraded interior components. Uh, and the engine is a 3.6 liter. It was supposed to be quite a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit stronger. Um, and so a lot of guys can use that longer. Mm -hmm. uh, but the older ones, the 07 to 11s, you can get into them cheaper. Um, and it's a 3.8 liter, but it's it's really not a well-designed engine. Okay. Um, and that one you can usually get into cheaper, like I say, to, okay. if you're looking to do it at a conversion. So then what about what's, because I think there's um, either it's already out or it's coming out. There's a completely new... The JL? Yeah. Yeah, we've got one here tonight. I have to show you. The oh, you folks do? from yeah. Rockslide Engineering brought one. Yeah, so is it yeah. just cosmetic stuff? Oh, uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> a about lot it? of guys thought so initially, but no, the more we get to know them, the more that they've changed inside out. The frame is even different. The axles mm -hmm. are different, and they're nice. 
They're really okay. nice. Right so it's something you can buy out of the box. You can go out there, have fun, yeah. and then figure out what you want to change. Yeah. Okay. And I think they're going to be a little bit easier to customize, quite frankly, too. Oh, really? Some cool. Aspects. All right. Yeah. Let's check that out. But yeah. what else did you want to show us here? Oh, let's show you the guys from on the other side. Yeah, Rockslide Engineering brought some pretty cool units out. In fact, this black one here is is the JL. Oh, okay. And so, what does Rockslide do? Rockslide makes uh, front and rear bumpers. They make oh, okay. um, armor for underneath. But really, what they do that everybody knows them for is these uh, sliders. They're rock sliders, so you can go over a rock, take the whole way to the vehicle across a rock. But they oh. also have whoa, nice steps. Okay, yes, automatic when you nice. the door. Yeah, that's cool. They're the premier and step then it in sits the industry. Up. Cool, slick. Okay. They have a really high weight capacity. They're the most reliable ones out there. They they set the standard. Everybody else copies them. Okay, cool. And are they based here? They are. They're Utah? just about five miles away from us. We go back and forth and help each other out all the time. In fact, oh sweet, okay. great guys. They've got a few rigs here tonight too. We'll have to show you. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll check them out when I go to SEMA. Absolutely. So if anyone if anyone watches my channel, I do go to SEMA show. <laughs> so hopefully this year I'll see you guys. Or ne yeah, this year I'll see you guys there. Right. So what are we looking at? This is another rock slide build here. Obviously, yep. this is a JK, mm -hmm. and I need to find Justin to have him pop the hood because this this is a supercharged LS3 in it with a lot of horsepower. Okay. Uh, and we'll have this to ask. This is supercharged him. too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when you're in it, I wish. When you're in it. Yeah. So so yeah. this is the new JL you were saying. Yep. So obviously some things have been changed on here from Rock Slide, but um, you know, outside I'm thinking the lights have changed a little bit. I don't know how much of yeah, the grill they the changed. Grill, they obviously took off what was. This kind of covers some of the grill changes, yeah. but the grill has more, more of a bend to it. Yeah, it's got like a bezeled, a bezeled look going on in there. Um, and I'm not sure which is the factory fender on this. They got two different ones to kind of show off what they're doing. Oh, okay. But, uh, oh, so one of these is factory? Yeah, I believe. So it's probably this one, I'm going to assume. Okay. Because that looks like more LEDs. Exactly. That end, yeah. More aftermarket. The factory yeah. ones have uh, additional lights down low as well. Right. You can see they've incorporated them in there. So okay. Good, strong stuff they make. It looks good, though. And then they've obviously yeah. changed the tires, lifted it a little bit. Yep. Yep. I don't know uh, the specs on this particular right. one, but you can tell it's looking good. Two and a half yeah. inch lift in 30 How many of these are out now? I mean, can, if you go to a dealership oh. now, this is you can get them. Right? Yeah, the initial rush made it kind of hard to get them. Their dis distribution was a little rocky. Guys were flying into Toledo and picking them up and driving them to the West Coast to yeah. get them first. Yeah. Um, but they're everywhere now. Yeah. Every dealership can get their hands on them. Cool. And then what's this yellow? This one, this one they call Roxanne, like Roxanne. rock sand. Rock sand. <laughs> rock sand, rock sand. This is a Willis pickup body on a JK chassis, actually. Oh, wow. So it's all JK undercarriage, but it's also got an LS3 drivetrain, <laughs> a Chevy drivetrain. Uh -huh. We actually did oh, look uh, at these, these carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Covers. Got to dress it up a little bit. Nobody yeah. knew what it was, so we wanted it to stand out. So how many horsepower is something like this? There, You know, on the LS3, there's uh, three different horsepower ranges offered. There's a 430 horsepower unit. Uh, that's the base one. And then there's a 495 horse and a 525 horse. And we've actually done all three of them here in the last month or so. so yeah, they, I'm going to say the 525. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one on the way right now more for power. another guy. Yeah, more power. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. that's an incredibly strong and reliable unit, though. Yeah. So, what is this used for? You think? They use this for everything. Oh, really? The, okay. Yeah. These are this. They use this one for some hardcore trail rides. Hardcore. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they don't take it easy on it at all. Yeah. In fact, they've got their rock sliders on this as well with the, the steps as well. Oh, it has that same when you open the Fully door. Fully functional. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're known for. Yeah. But they, you can see it's it's built to go. It's not just for show. Yeah. Um, but it's a fun one. They call it rock sand, like rock yeah. sand. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. See this uh, and then, um, Call of Duty Call edition? Of Duty. Is this yours? No, this is also theirs as well. Oh, okay. So they brought four units tonight. That That's what it looks like, doesn't it? <laughs> is it work? We should ask him. <laughs> yeah. Tom, we want to shoot that gun. Huh? We want to shoot the, the 50 yeah. cal. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna work for you. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great. I told you these guys <laughs> like it. It's it's good looking. <laughs> He's oh, got I to understand. modify it to be a, a flame throwing prop, you know, or it's just What does it use? Propane? propane? Uh, no. Oh it's not non functional it's, at all. It's strictly a Hollywood prop. Oh, okay. It strictly <laughs> looks. Yeah, I don't think I would uh, be able to drive around town with a, a true fifty cal sitting up top that would uh, you know, I had enough looks coming over here from Rock Slide to here yeah. as I hit those four-way stops, and the people are like, uh, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. This guy's up to something serious. He needed some lights. It looks great, though. 
Thanks. Yeah, it does. Yeah. This thing is insane. No. And it is actually, it is a real Call of Duty Jeep from Chrysler. Oh, okay. They uh, they numbered them, so I have number 1369. Okay. I hope the FN's real. Nobody was right on the dash. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very nice, very nice. We got some more showing up here in a little bit. We got an RCI yeah. ramp showing up in Salt Lake, too. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get a bunch of different Jeeps showing up. I just wanted to grab, you know, get a couple of Jeeps since. You do do Jeep stuff. That's what we do. Before it gets all crazy and <laughs> right. put the camera away and all that. So thanks, man. Absolutely. Thanks for having us come out. Thanks for coming on the show as right well. Have you guys. Yeah. You know, anytime. We'll have you come back on. That was fun. It was a blast. I yeah. had a blast and I'd do it anytime. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, jump in. Try to, try to like the actual yeah, yeah. Just kind of give a little bit of room there. Yeah, all right, there you go. And uh, yeah, just go down like this. There you go. I was like, how did you have that on? Oh, here, you get back. <laughs> and then I'll duck down. Sorry, thanks for saying my knees. Now we're next to guys. What, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? We're in the crowd. We're in the crowd? We're in the crowd. Taking his selfies. That's, that's right. You know it. Yeah. <laughs>